us. We are now being joined by Daniel Gertrude from New Jersey. He is an American business analyst and economist. Daniel, welcome back to We On. So if you were to advise the Bidens, let's say Hunter Biden and his business associates, when you see these bank records and when you had them in front of you, uh, do you would you say that they were in trouble, that this trail ultimately seems like it will lead to Joe Biden? It may very well lead to Joe Biden. Look, any time that you have financial transactions such as this, there's always a trail. So there is a way to trace where money came from, point A to point B. So now we have a situation where we have to ask some questions. The first question is, why would these foreign countries, Russia, Kazakhstan, Ukraine, be paying Hunter Biden? The obvious answer appears to be for some type of influence related to his father. So now the question becomes, did Joe Biden know, number one, and did Joe Biden do anything as a service related to these payments. And that's where I think it really gets gray. Did the vice president at the time do favors for foreigners? And that's the question that we ultimately have to answer here. And do you think not just politically, but with the paper trail that the Republicans are following, because they promised that they'll follow the money, they're going to follow the connections, uh, despite the fact that the White House says that this is old news, it's an innuendo, it's a distraction. Do you think with the paper trails that we have and we'll be seeing some sort of resolution or conclusion can ultimately be reached? Or are we going to stay in this gray area? And maybe that's why Joe Biden is so comfortable answering these questions, frankly, untruthfully. Well, the question here is, can it be traced to Joe Biden in some way? I think the paper trail will be quite clear that Hunter Biden and perhaps other people in the Biden family did receive money. You know, one of the questions here, too, is if they received money, did they pay tax on it? Presumably, they didn't get this money for free. Some type of service in some way was provided. That being the case, that's taxable income. So I think the trail is not just about was money paid. How about whether taxes were paid on that money? So you could have multiple levels of crimes here, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it links directly to Joe Biden, even though it may appear that way. Why would these people pay all this money to Hunter Biden, and we we may be able to logically conclude to influence the vice president at the time, but we need more than that. We need to actually prove it. And Joe Biden is entitled to the presumption of innocence, like anyone else. Okay, Daniel Gertrude, thank you so much for joining us from New Jersey, and we look forward to talking to you again very soon. Thank you.